think the providers, their number one issue currently is uh, retention of staffing and finding stabilized, qualified staff members. It's a huge challenge across the country, and I think that is their, our number one issue. The other two issues, of course, are protecting Medicaid funding. We've had some threats of that in, in, in the most recent uh, policies. And of course, preserving our 2.4% increase in the, in the market basket. We want to make sure that we don't get a threat of a pay for on those and, and, and see further cuts. What about the new uh, payment system that's been proposed? Any thoughts on that? Uh, I know it's pretty early, but that's going to be a big subject. It is a huge subject, and I have uh, attended a few webinars on it. You know, it's the devil in the details, so we currently don't understand or know the details. I think anything better than counting minutes is um, going to be a better solution. However, we have to make sure that we are going to get adequate funding for the different episodic payment schedules. So the Medicare uh, powers to be at AHCA currently are reviewing those. I trust them. They're very brilliant minds. And once they are through vetting it, then I know we'll have some more information on it. And regulatory relief and staffing. They might go together in some ways. Can you talk about uh, meeting regulatory uh, issues and then uh, how that might tie into finding and attracting people? Yeah, I think today the, 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 the up and coming and the people graduating from school, we're a very frightening profession to be a part of at this point in time. I mean, the regulatory, the litigation, the, you, the, the demand to be perfect and to get everything right every day and then all the different government agencies and everyone has updated. We've got new survey process, we've got new survey, we've got new regulations, they've changed the F-tag numbers to the regulations that we've known for years. It's just a lot of new. So I believe if we could scale back and get some regulatory relief and stabilize our funding, that would most help our, uh, our retention and being able to recruit staffing.